guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, one of you guys was asking how we can upgrade the Shadow Minions. Uh, technically, we can't really upgrade the Shadow Minions themselves. What we can do is that we can upgrade the backups that we get in this universe online. I will show you how in just a minute. For those who did not see it, here are the Shadow Minions that we get in this universe online. Although I discovered that uh, they don't seem to fly, as you can see they're running around after my character. So that is, I guess, one drawback uh, that we have those, with those uh, Shadow Minions. Not sure if it's uh, intended or if it's an accident. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. So how can you upgrade your, your backup and your Shadow Minions? Let's take a look. So for anything that has to do with your backup, you have to go to your mainframe. So let's go there. And if you are a hero, the, ba the backups are called backup. If you are an evil villain, then the backups are called henchmen. Uh, not sure why the distinction, but there it is. So in order to be able to get your henchmen, first you have to purchase backup one. So as you can see, it supplies your dispenser with various uplink device based on your unlock base team, and it will summon two backup reinforcement to attack your foes for a short period of time. So if you take back to backup one, you only get two minions. If you take back to backup two, again, you only get two minions, but your minions are a bit stronger than before. For the backup one and backup two, it's a one-time purchase. Once you purchase them, I think it's 25 uh, source marks each, 25 or 50, I forget. It's been a long time since I purchased those, but basically you have to purchase them using uh, source marks. It's either 25 or 50 uh, source marks, I forget. So you have to purchase backup one, then backup two. Once you purchase backup one and two, it's done forever. You don't ever have to purchase it ever again. Uh, sadly, there's the boost. The boost will uh, again increase the strength of your of your uh, characters, but also it will allow you to summon three of them instead of two, and it should be three flying backup. So I'm a bit surprised that the henchmen do not fly. It could be uh, there could be a distinction that I'm not aware of, but I, I could have sworn that once you once you get your boost, your three henchmen should be flying. Uh, sadly for the boost, I think it costs uh, 7 source marks and you have to pay 7 source marks every 60 days. So every 60 days you have to come to your mainframe and you have to pay for your boost, otherwise you won't have your boost activated. Also in order to be able to get all of that, you have to activate your source, your, uh, your cells in your mainframe or in your generator actually if you see we're in the generator tab so we can replace the cells and it costs a little bit of a uh, game cache you can also activate the cells from your generator in your basement Why did so you again you can see there? you can see the generator we're in the generator and we have the power level for all three cells here so we can do it from here if we want to so once you've purchased the boost for your backups or your henchmen uh, Usually that should be as strong as your henchmen are going to be. There is an artifact, the Dead King's uh, Scepter. It's not going to make your, your, your henchmen stronger, but it can reduce the cooldown of your henchmen, so it allows you to be able to, to summon them more often. Uh, sadly, you have to upgrade your artifact in order to be able to get that benefit. So as you upgrade your artifact, you see at first, uh, it doesn't really increase the cooldown of your henchmen, and it will increase it by 10%. And once you upgrade the artifact to the maximum level, it will increase it to another 10%. So ultimately, once you, you upgrade your artifact uh, to the maximum, it will, upgrade, uh, it'll, it will reduce the cooldown of your henchmen by 20%. It also does that for a combat pet, supply drops, and your stat buff. So normally the strength of your henchmen depends on your generator and your mainframe. So if you've unlocked uh, all the upgrades in your mainframe, and you, if you activate all the cells in your, in your generator, that should make your henchmen as strong as it can be. But there are a few exceptions. There are a few henchmen, like if you look at the uh, backup uplink device Guardians, the Guardians, when they're summoned, they deal 10% more damage when called in Metropolis Invasion Zone or Centennial Collapse. So basically that's the anniversary event with the Anti-Monitor. So the, the Guardian backups are stronger during the anniversary event if you summon them during the Metropolis Invasion or the Centennial Collapse mission. And the same is true with the Shadow Minions. The Shadow Minions are 10% stronger, stronger, they do 10% more damage when called in any Justice League Dark content. And there is the Undersea Henchmen, who are 10% stronger 
when they're called in any Atlantis content. I'm pretty sure there's also a similar uh, Enchman with the Teen Titans uh, DLC. I uh, just forget what the name is right now. So technically upgrading your Enchman and your backups through your mainframe is the way to make them stronger. So just for the fun of it, uh, let's summon our Enchman one more time. You can see they're pretty nice looking henchmen, uh, sadly unlike uh, some of our other henchmen, they don't seem to fly. Uh, for a weapon, they use hand blasters. If you like that kind of weapon, these are, might be the henchmen for you. Of course, if you're playing just to sleep dark content, it makes more sense to use uh, those henchmen, seeing how they should technically do a bit more damage. Patrol. And just for the fun of it, let's summon uh, some industrial backup. These are the henchmen I've used for a long time. Not sure why. So as you can see, unlike the, uh, the shadow minions, these actually do fly. So they can follow you anywhere you like. Why does it matter? Uh, there are certain maps when the when your henchmen don't fly, it can be a bit, uh, let's say, problematic. So for a long time, I would use those uh, robot henchmen. Couldn't tell you why. I thought they were really, uh, really cool looking. And now let's try some uh, cave henchmen straight from the bad cave. So again, same as most henchmen, when you have three of them, the three of them are flying. So I'm not sure why the shadow minions aren't flying. Maybe it's to make up for the 10% extra damage they, they actually do. Oh well. So if you ever purchase the, cave the, the bat cave lair, you will have access to those uh, Batman inspired henchmen. Uh, let's summon the last one because uh, why not? So these here are the Brainiac Henchmen. You get those when you purchase the Brainiac uh, base lair. Pretty much that simple. Pretty, They're pretty awesome looking. Again, they can fly like uh, most of the Henchmen. And obviously you can see this is the Henchmen that come from with this base here. Uh, if, you, if you're not sure, whenever you see the, the training dummy, the sparring target I should say, uh, it, it's usually shaped the same way as the henchman. So you can see the henchman and the target, pretty much the same thing. Except for the, for, for the light effect on the target. So you can see these are pretty darn good looking. Uh, and sadly they self-destructed. So sad. So that is pretty much it for how to upgrade the shadow minions. And pretty much how to upgrade uh, the strength of all your henchmen. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Greetings visitor. Patrolling for intruders.